What's up guys, I'm your Daily Dose of Joseph. I'm your host Joseph Jace Mantendo, and welcome back to Silent Hill 3. It's been a minute. Hello. Uh, recently in Silent Hill 3, we have been adventuring through the uh, hospital uh, after our father, Harry Mason, was murdered. Nothing left here to use. That's right, I got a key out of that. I got a key. There's some locked doors, I'm sure of it. I don't... <laughs> Don't know exactly where they are. Why don't I have a mouse on this screen? Is that not how this works? I wish I did. We came to Silent Hill because Harry died and that... That's interesting. <laughs> that lady, uh, Claudia, or whatever, uh, she had started a fight and we're like, nah, that's not cool. And so now we're here to finish the fight. Oh, right, there's that symbol. This is that Silent Hill 2 room. I guess I just gotta go back now and try and find something that's unlocked. Great. Were you here before or are you a new spawn? <gasps> yes, yes, it's unlocked. Haha. <laughs> down or up? I'll go down. Let's try this first. No? Okay. Locked. Okay. What's next? Also locked. Gosh, diddles. I don't like that. I also don't like something's on the ground. Submachine gun bullets. Do I? I still don't have the submachine gun, though. <laughs> don't equip that. I'm trying to go to the next weapon. Are you serious? How do you do this? <laughs> They just equip this giant long staff mace. God, I hate this, this game. No submachine gun yet. But, uh, yeah, this is creepy as crap. Um, I already tried that door. Don't keep backtracking. Okay, Heather. Okay, Heather, I know that dad just died and you're having a moment. You done? There's some machine gun bullets all over the ground, so I'm guessing the implications is somebody was sat here and fired a full magazine, or well, okay, they left some, clearly. There were some for me to pick up. They fired a magazine into a wheelchaired person and then dragged them away. Oh, it's the submachine gun! <laughs> it's a mess. Yeah? Was that out here? And <laughs> I don't know. Ah! Oh, this is setting the mood just right. I can't squeeze into there. There's no way I can move the shelf either. Well, good, because I don't want to go back there. But somebody else clearly made it happen. Whoever got shot the F up with that machine gun squeezed back there. And they're probably still back there. And that's disgusting. Just setting the scene. So I know where that person went. Oh, is she looking at anything? She's got something to look at. Wait, is that a Robbie Rabbit? <gasps> Looks like there's a Robbie Rabbit painted on that box. Look at that boy! Look at that Robbie! Let me... Okay. That's good. I would've been upset if it did anything. I'm gonna be so upset in an episode from now when I'm going, I'm lost, I don't know where to go, and I find on the freaking walkthrough it told me to go in there. The blood trail continues into the elevator. Part of me wants to peek in, but it's a little too creepy. Yeah, a little too creepy. So my hypothesis actually thinking about it, whoever was in the wheelchair threw themselves into the elevator shaft, which is weird because we're in the basement now. So they didn't go far. And whoever they were fighting, I either came out of here or went into there. Either way, I have a submachine gun. That's what matters. Have I been on this floor yet? No, I haven't. Well, I kind of have. Is that... There's a room I haven't been in over here. Okay, uh, that explains. <laughs> That's why. Um, what is that? The first is larger than the second. Oh my god, I don't want to F with that. I remember that. I remember reading that and going, ah! Okay. There we go. Actually, 
Yo. Well, I do. Okay, I was, I'm recording, but I will get pizza. So with my brain reinvigorated through the power of pizza, let's try again. Eight, six, three, four. Hi! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Woof! <clears throat> but also, no. I don't want to go through this door. Okay. But wait, I haven't even opened up my timer yet. I don't like that. I don't like hearing that. Okay, you ready? You ready? And another one. Oh, you! Oh, you got that counter attack. Let's see how it goes. Dang. She can keep swinging. Oh! No. Enough of that. You look like the dang Joker. And also, can I take your gun when I'm done with you? Can't take the gun? No? Okay. Have I seen one with guns before? Okay, good. This is blocked, and that's fine. I didn't like that. Ew. Papers on the floor. Um, something's written on them, but none of them really seem important. What about this one? Right, app, Heather. Gosh, diddles. There's a medical record here. Could this be for the Stead guy? Background unknown. Name and age unknown. Not admitted patient. Found in poor mental state on hospital grounds, but temporarily installed in room M4 at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severed carotid artery. Carotid artery. That's in here. Was grasping own kitchen knife in his right hand, assume it was cause of neck wound. Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious, sent to second floor treatment room, for further investigation. Have received no proof or corroboration of the events of the patient residing in the same room. Have not notified police. However, for future necessity, have victim's bed and effects intact room M4. So we need to go check out room M4 for this poor dude that probably committed suicide. Wait, did she just say that there's something in his hand? The man's corpse is laid out. The hand that's sticking out of the sheet has something written on it. I wanna read it. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. <clears throat> my key. Something art thou my key? The start time is my key. The start time, you say. Let's go back to this and see if there were any times noted. I don't see anything. He was from room M4. Where is that? Okay, that's got to be on this floor, right? Okay, it's a little further down. I'm going to go ahead and investigate all the rooms leading up, though, as per usual. Because otherwise I'm bound to miss something. Okay, we good. There we go. So this was his room and... Oh, there it is. The start time is my key. 12.46. We got more creepy dolls. Left from McDude. There was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore though. The alarm clock and a filthy bag are his. Ah, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him. Though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own? On my chest since I can't cut it open to show you my heart. I love Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather is enough for what I feel. Oh, what tender emotion this image brings. Stanley Coleman. I am I really don't like this Stanley Coleman, dude. Can you, do you have any comment on the doll anymore? Are you just done with the doll? <laughs> She's done. She doesn't care about the doll anymore. Enough of this guy. Enough of his letters. Enough of that in general. So it was 1246. And this is a code lock. And what do you want to bet that 1246 is the code? Yep, that was easy. <clears throat> Instant camera. Nothing else of interest. Is there anything over there? No. Anything over here? No. Equip. Yeah, let's use that silencer. Combine it with what? Like, what would, what would I ever combine that with? Dad's notebook. 
Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, the perfumes had a quip on it. Okay. Oh, that's four. There's no pink fumes flopping off of her right now, so she's not wearing it, I guess. No! Okay, okay. I will heal. I, I also really don't like that breathing. I will heal, and I will I will switch weapon. Where 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 it at? Yes. Cause I don't want to use all my ammo. Just take them all down. Put them all down. I can sit in this corner and do this all day. Come on, go ahead. I'll come back to your own bed. That works fine for me. Have a good face. Come on. Go down. Another one. Hehe. <laughs> Is it still going? Okay, we snuffed the light out. We are good. I had to use one of those. So if that's all that's in this room, then I achieved nothing. All right. <laughs> so if you can do that room without taking a hit and without needing to use an ample, then you're fine. Okay, wait, wait. Broken. Good to know. So, 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 there was a turn around here. It's an elevator. Doesn't work naturally. That's naturally. Okay, so I got a camera. I have not. Okay, he was at some point in one of the examining rooms. I forget what. The tattooed arm man? I'm not sure. No, no, special treatment room. Was this it? Is this where he was? I think so. What's this? <clears throat> Crap. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hour confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on the typewrite, typewritten sentence. The trick is not to leave any marks. And one other thing. This looks like it is written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. I'm sorry, Christy. I'm sorry. Uh, I also, uh, what is this? Let me add it. What does it say? Flowing freely, your ebony hair, like the night sky, scattering fragrance. My heart clamoring in my chest like a storm. You trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturbed. My breath like opium. It drives me mad. Eric. A great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. I should never have gone crazy. But this superbly enjoyable. To drown in my love for you. But why don't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Stanley. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope. So this door I had a key to. Arr! God, I don't like that you're just... <laughs> I feel like the yell was very unwarranted. But it actually bothered me pretty well. That did something to me. There's a belt hanging from the roof. Oh no. So this is... This nurse right here was probably Christy. She hung herself. Because of what that pervert doctor did. She probably hung herself with that belt. Or maybe I'm thinking too hard. I don't know. As Silent Hill makes me think deep dark things all the time, so I can't I can't help it. Okay, well, we didn't get a lot. <clears throat> um, maybe that'll be useful for something later. Uh, okay. Yeah, I haven't been here. Oh, safe state, which sounds like just as good a time as any to uh, take a minute. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. In the next episode, we're going to something, something hospital stuff. Hope to see you next time.